Hi, I'm here to talk to you today about what I call your unit to graduation budget. The purpose of this discussion is to show you how it's possible to graduate in four years, if that's important to you, without ever having to take maximum units and with the probability of starting with um, fewer units than you may think you need to graduate. So to begin with, the first thing I want to tell you is that a lot of people have told you and have called this school a four-year school. What I want to tell you here is that this most certainly is not a four-year school. What this is, is a 120-unit school. You need to accumulate a minimum of 120 graduation applicable units before you'll be allowed to graduate. You can do that in four years in some cases. In most cases it takes five, six, or seven years. It de depends on how you go about budgeting your units here. One of the reasons people call this a four-year school is because they do simple division. They'll divide 120 by 4, the number of years. That equals 30. 30 graduation applicable units you should complete in a year if you want to graduate in four years. If you subtract this 30 by 2, which is the number of units, or excuse me, the number of semesters we have here at Cal State Stanislaus, you'll see that that equals 15. So 15 is the total number of units you should complete in a semester in order to graduate in four years. However, when you start here at Cal State Stanislaus, we always recommend that students never take more than four classes in their first year. Uh, four three-unit classes equals 12 units. In some cases, those units actually come out to 13. So what we're going to talk about here is a student who starts in her first year taking 13 units and taking another 13 units in the spring, fall and spring, the two terms we have here at Cal State Stanislaus. Unfortunately for this student, four of the units that she is taking out of these 13 units happen to be remedial coursework, so they don't apply toward graduation. What this student is actually earning is nine graduation applicable units in her first two semesters at Cal State Stanislaus. If you add nine and nine, you see that comes out to a total of 18 units, which is far less than the 30 units that the student needs to graduate in four years. But this is not a time to panic. What this student should know, and what we tell students here, is that you can go to school in the summer. In this case, because this is a first-year student, and I know this student has a lot of lower division uh, coursework that uh, she can do, I would recommend that she consider taking six units over the summer. Now, whether you live close to Cal State Stanislaus or not is uh, um, irrelevant to taking these units. You can take units transferable units at your local community college and have them sent over here. So if this student took and passed six units in the summer, now the student has 24, uh, 24 units in her first year. If we subtract those 24 from the 120, you see that that leaves us with 96 units to go after the first year. In this student's second year, now that she's built up a good academic uh, um, GPA and a good foundation, I would recommend that this student go ahead and take a minimum of 15 units in the fall and 15 units in the spring. If we add those two terms together, we see that this student gets to the 30 units, which is our annual target to, to graduate in four years. Again, since this student is taking lower division coursework, I know the student can take some more classes at uh, her local community college, so I would again recommend the student consider taking another six units, and you see that that gets us to 36 units after the first year, or excuse me, after the second year, including the summer term. If we subtract those 36 units from the remaining 96, you see that gets us to a total of 60 units left to complete. Now in year three, this student, I would recommend again, takes 15 units in the fall, 15 units again in the spring, and that will get the student to 30 units. Now at this point, since the student is now a junior, I would not necessarily recommend that the student take classes over the summer because the only classes that this student would likely have available are upper division classes, which have to be taken here. By definition, upper division classes cannot be taken 
taken at a junior college since all they do at the junior college are lower division classes. So instead of taking coursework in the summer, this would be a good time for a student to take an internship, um, maybe uh, do some job shadowing, uh, do a part-time job, some other activity in the summer to um, bolster this, uh, this uh, student's resume for when the student actually graduates. So if I subtract this 30 units from the remaining 60, you see that that gets us to 30 units to go, which in year four will be easily enough to complete by taking 15 units in the fall and 15 units in the spring. That gets us to the 30 units that are left. And this student is able to complete all the units necessary to graduate in four years, even having started at um, only commit, uh, completing 18 units in their first regular terms at Cal State Stanislaus. And at no point did this student ever have to take more than five classes or 15 units in any one term. This is uh, uh, extremely possible for anyone, regardless of where they start, um, keeping in mind these things. Number one, you must pass each of your classes the first time out. If you fail and have to repeat classes, you'll you see that this will knock this math um, uh, off. It also requires that you take classes that apply for GE um, requirements and or major requirements and you don't take any um, extra classes. You don't double dip in any of those areas. So you stay on track to complete the 120 units. Um, if graduating in four years is important to you, this is one way to do it without ever having to take overloads and still graduating in four years. If, however, it turns out that you cannot graduate or you cannot take these summer terms, if you add these two summer terms together, you'll see that that only comes to 12 units. So even if this student couldn't do the summer coursework, if she did an extra semester, she would easily graduate with the last 12 units in the fall of her fifth year.